7 Powerful Functions of Capacitors Capacitors are electronic components that store and release electrical energy. They have various applications in electronic circuits, providing a range of functions. Here are 7 Powerful Functions of Capacitors. Capacitors serve as devices for storing electrical energy in an electric field. Unlike batteries, which store energy in a chemical form, capacitors store energy in an electrostatic field created between two conductive plates separated by an insulating material, dielectric. The amount of energy stored in a capacitor is proportional to the voltage applied and the capacitance of the capacitor and can be calculated using the formula. Equals 1, 2, 2, E equals 2. 1. CV. 2. Where? E is the energy stored in joules. C is the capacitance in farads. F. V is the voltage across the capacitor in volts. During charging, a voltage is applied to the capacitor, causing a potential difference between the plates. This potential difference results in the accumulation of electric charge on the plates. The energy is stored in the electric field between the plates. When the capacitor is discharged, the stored energy is released back into the circuit. Energy storage in capacitors is advantageous for certain applications due to their ability to release energy quickly and efficiently. However, compared to batteries, capacitors typically have lower energy densities, meaning they store less energy per unit volume or weight. Advances in capacitor technology, such as the development of supercapacitors or ultracapacitors, aim to improve energy density and make capacitors more competitive with batteries in specific applications. Capacitors are commonly used for filtering and smoothing in electronic circuits, particularly in power supply applications. The primary purpose is to reduce or eliminate variations in voltage, resulting in a more stable and constant DC voltage. Here's how capacitors achieve filtering and smoothing. Rectification and Filtering in many electronic devices, AC voltage is first converted to DC through a process called rectification. However, the output of a rectifier can still have small fluctuations, known as ripple. Capacitors are used to filter out this ripple by storing charge during the peaks of the AC waveform and releasing it during the troughs. This action helps smooth the waveform, resulting in a more constant DC voltage. Decoupling Capacitors Capacitors are often placed across the power supply lines of integrated circuits, ICs, or other components to act as decoupling capacitors. These capacitors provide a local reservoir of charge, ensuring that the voltage supplied to the component remains stable, especially during sudden changes in current demand. This helps prevent voltage fluctuations that could affect the proper operation of the circuit. Smoothing Power Supply Rails Large electrolytic capacitors are commonly used in power supply circuits. They are connected in parallel to the output terminals of the power supply. These capacitors store charge when the voltage is high and release it when the voltage drops, effectively smoothing out variations and providing a more stable voltage to the connected devices. Voltage Regulation Capacitors contribute to voltage regulation by helping to maintain a consistent voltage level across a load. They can compensate for rapid changes in current demand, ensuring that the voltage remains within acceptable limits. The basic principle behind filtering and smoothing with capacitors lies in their ability to store and release electrical energy. By leveraging this capability, capacitors can mitigate voltage fluctuations and provide a more reliable and steady power source for electronic circuits and devices. Capacitors are crucial components in the creation of timing circuits, where the rate at which a capacitor charges or discharges determines the timing characteristics of the circuit. The combination of a resistor, R, and a capacitor, C, in an RC circuit results in a time constant, often denoted by the symbol tau tau, given by the formula. Equals, times, tau equals or times C. Here are two common applications of capacitors and timing elements. RC timing circuits. Capacitors are frequently used in conjunction with resistors to create timing circuits, such as monostable and astable multivibrators. In a monostable circuit, the time it takes for a capacitor to charge or discharge through a resistor determines the duration of the output pulse. In an astable circuit, the capacitor alternately charges and discharges, creating a continuous oscillation and defining the frequency of the output waveform. Frequency Determination in Oscillators Capacitors are integral components in oscillators, which generate periodic waveforms. The time constant of an RC circuit in an oscillator, along with other components, determines the frequency of the oscillation. 
For example, in an Astable multivibrator circuit, the charging and discharging of a capacitor through resistors determine the frequency of the square wave output. Timing elements are crucial in various electronic applications, including clock generation, pulse width modulation, and frequency synthesis. The ability of capacitors to control the rate of charging and discharging in combination with resistors allows for precise timing and control of electronic signals in these circuits. Capacitors play important roles in coupling and decoupling signals in electronic circuits. These functions are essential for ensuring proper signal transfer, isolation between circuit stages, and stability in the presence of varying loads. Here's a brief explanation of coupling and decoupling. Coupling capacitors. Coupling capacitors are used to transmit AC signals between different stages of an electronic circuit while blocking DC components. They allow the AC signal to pass through while preventing any DC bias from affecting subsequent stages. Commonly found in amplifier circuits, coupling capacitors enable the AC-coupled transmission of audio or other varying signals while maintaining the desired DC operating points in each stage. For example, in an audio amplifier, a coupling capacitor allows the audio signal to pass from the amplifier's preamp stage to the power amplifier stage, ensuring that the DC bias points of the stages are not affected. Decoupling capacitors Decoupling capacitors, also known as bypass capacitors, are used to stabilize the voltage supply to components, particularly integrated circuits, ICs. Placed in parallel with the power supply lines of an IC, decoupling capacitors act as local energy reservoirs, providing a low impedance path for high-frequency components of the load current. When an IC or other components draw sudden pulses of current, the decoupling capacitor supplies the necessary charge, preventing voltage drops and ensuring a stable power supply. This helps prevent undesirable effects such as signal distortion, malfunctions, or noise caused by variations in the power supply voltage. Decoupling capacitors are essential for maintaining signal integrity and reducing the impact of power supply noise on sensitive components. In summary, coupling capacitors facilitate the transmission of AC signals while blocking DC, ensuring proper signal transfer between circuit stages. Decoupling capacitors stabilize the power supply voltage for components, preventing voltage fluctuations and maintaining circuit stability. Both functions are crucial for the proper operation of electronic circuits, especially in applications where signal integrity and stability are paramount. Capacitors contribute to voltage regulation in electronic circuits by helping to stabilize and maintain a consistent voltage level, especially in the presence of varying loads or rapid changes in current demand. Here's how capacitors assist in voltage regulation. Smoothing voltage fluctuations. Capacitors, particularly large electrolytic capacitors, are often employed in power supply circuits. As electronic devices draw varying amounts of current, the voltage across the power supply terminals can fluctuate. Capacitors act as energy reservoirs, smoothing out these fluctuations by storing charge during periods of excess current and releasing it when the demand increases. This smoothing effect results in a more stable DC voltage supplied to the rest of the circuit, compensating for load changes. In circuits with dynamic loads, the current drawn by the load can change rapidly. Capacitors can respond quickly to these changes by providing or absorbing charge, helping to maintain a steady voltage level. This is particularly important in applications such as motor control, where sudden changes in load can occur. Improving Power Factor Capacitors can be used in power factor correction circuits to improve the power factor of inductive loads. Inductive loads, such as electric motors, can lead to a lagging power factor, reducing the overall efficiency of the system. Capacitors, when strategically connected, can compensate for this lagging power factor, helping to regulate and improve the overall power factor of the circuit. Filtering ripple and rectified AC. In rectified AC circuits, where AC is converted to DC, capacitors are often used to filter out the ripple variations in the DC voltage. This filtering action contributes to the regulation of the output voltage by providing a more constant voltage level. The ability of capacitors to store and release electrical energy makes them effective in mitigating transient changes and fluctuations in voltage, thereby contributing to the overall stability and regulation of voltage in electronic circuits. Capacitors used for voltage regulation are often selected based on their capacitance values, voltage ratings, and response times to suit the specific requirements of the application. 
Capacitors are frequently used for signal filtering and tuning in electronic circuits. Their ability to selectively pass or block certain frequencies makes them valuable components in applications where signal conditioning is essential. Here's how capacitors are utilized for signal filtering and tuning. High-pass and low-pass filters Capacitors are key elements in the design of high-pass and low-pass filters. In a high-pass filter, capacitors allow high-frequency signals to pass while attenuating low-frequency signals. In contrast, low-pass filters allow low-frequency signals to pass while attenuating high-frequency signals. The cutoff frequency of these filters is determined by the values of resistors and capacitors in the circuit. Bandpass and Bandstop Filters Capacitors are also used in bandpass and bandstop notch filters. In a bandpass filter, capacitors, in conjunction with other components, allow a specific range of frequencies to pass through while attenuating frequencies outside that range. In a bandstop filter, capacitors block a specific range of frequencies while allowing frequencies above and below that range to pass through. Tuning circuits. Capacitors play a crucial role in tuning circuits, especially in radio frequency, RF, and communication systems. Variable capacitors, often in the form of trimmer capacitors or varactors, are used to adjust the resonant frequency of tuned circuits. This tuning capability allows for the selection of specific frequencies and is fundamental in applications such as radio receivers, where different stations need to be tuned. Resonant circuits. Capacitors, when combined with inductors, can form resonant circuits. These circuits are designed to resonate at specific frequencies, enhancing the response to signals at those frequencies. Resonant circuits are employed in various applications, including oscillators, filters, and impedance matching networks. Audio Signal Processing Capacitors are commonly used in audio circuits for coupling and filtering. They can be part of tone control circuits, allowing adjustment of bass and treble frequencies. Additionally, capacitors can be used in crossover networks for speakers, dividing the audio signal into different frequency bands for specialized drivers, e.g., woofers, tweeters. In summary, capacitors contribute significantly to signal processing by allowing designers to manipulate the frequency response of circuits. Whether it's for filtering out unwanted frequencies, tuning to a specific frequency, or shaping the response of an audio signal, capacitors are versatile components in achieving precise control over signal characteristics. Capacitors are commonly used in electric motors for both starting and running operations. Different types of capacitors are employed for these two purposes to ensure optimal motor performance. Here's how capacitors are used in motor start and run applications. Motor starting capacitors. Types. Motor starting capacitors are typically electrolytic capacitors. There are two main types, electrolytic start capacitors and electrolytic start slash run capacitors. Purpose. The starting capacitor provides an extra boost of energy to the motor during the startup phase. This is especially important for induction motors, which may require higher torque to overcome initial inertia and bring the motor up to its operating speed. Operation The starting capacitor is connected in series with the motor's auxiliary winding during startup. Once the motor reaches a certain speed or operates for a specific duration, a switch, called a centrifugal switch, disconnects the starting capacitor from the circuit. This prevents the capacitor from remaining in the circuit during normal running conditions as its purpose is fulfilled during startup. Motor running capacitors. Types. Motor running capacitors are often oil-filled, metallized polypropylene, or metallized polyester capacitors. Purpose. The running capacitor continues to operate after the startup phase, providing additional phase shift to the motor's winding. This phase shift improves the motor's efficiency and power factor during normal operation. Operation. The running capacitor is connected in parallel with the motor winding during the running state. It remains in the circuit continuously, contributing to the motor's performance by optimizing the current and voltage relationships in the motor windings. Single-phase motors In single-phase motors, capacitors are commonly used to create a phase shift that produces a rotating magnetic field. This is crucial for starting and running the motor smoothly, especially in applications like air conditioners, refrigerators, and other household appliances. Three-phase motors. While three-phase motors do not typically require starting capacitors due to their inherent self-starting capability, they may use running capacitors to improve power factor and overall efficiency. In summary, capacitors play a vital role in the operation of electric motors. 
Starting capacitors provide the initial boost during startup, while running capacitors contribute to the motor's ongoing efficiency and performance. The specific capacitor types and configurations depend on the motor design and application requirements. These functions highlight the versatility of capacitors in electronic applications, making them essential components in a wide range of circuits and devices.